It's been almost a decade since Bajaj launched a Pulsa NS in the Indian market. Now the brand has decided to update its Pulsa NS 200 and the NS 160 so that they can stay competitive in the segment. You are watching HT Auto, my name is Parth Khatri and today on the show we are going to list down all the changes that both these motorcycles get for 2023. The biggest upgrades that the motorcycles get are the new USD forks. They measure 33 mm in size, so they are not shared with the Dominar. On the other hand, the alloy wheels and the braking setup are now shared with the Pulsar 250s. The alloy wheels are lighter, the brakes are now larger, the front one measures 300 mm in size, the rear one measures 230 mm. Uh, there is also dual channel ABS on offer. Moreover, the calipers are now sourced from Grimeca instead of fiber. Then there is the instrument cluster that has finally been updated. It is the same semi-digital cluster with an analog tachometer. However, now it can show a gear position indicator, instantaneous fuel economy, average fuel efficiency and distance to empty. Apart from this, there is no change in terms of features. So it still misses out on the USB charger. In terms of design, there are no changes to both the motorcycles except for the fact that the NS160 now gets this new red and black paint scheme. Having said that, there are no changes to the frame or the lighting elements. So there are no LED turn blinkers or LED headlamp on offer. There are no changes to the engines of both motorcycles apart from now being OVG2 compatible. So the Pulsa NS200 produces 24.16 bhp and 18.74 nm of peak torque, while the Pulsa NS160 produces 16.96 bhp and 14.6 nm of peak torque. The NS200 continues to come with a 6-speed gearbox, whereas the NS160 gets a 5-speed unit. The engine still loves to chase the red line. Yes, the additional power on the NS200 can be felt when compared to the NS160. However, the NS160 has fewer vibrations than the NS200. The clutch action on both motorcycles is also light, and the gearbox is also slick for the most part. In terms of ride and handling, the new suspension setup has been very well tuned. It feels planted, inspires confidence in corners and absorbs uneven undulations quite well. So it does seem like the price bump is justified. The NS160 competes against Hero Extreme 160R, Suzuki Jigsaw and TVS Apache RTR 164V. Whereas the NS200 goes against Suzuki Jigsaw SF and TVS Apache RTR 204V. The Pulsa NS200 is now priced at Rs 1.47 lakhs ex showroom, whereas the Pulsa NS160 now costs Rs 1.35 lakhs ex showroom. Let us know what you think about the new Pulsas in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to HTE Auto for more such videos.